This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness, and welcome back to another informational grounded tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to fight ladybugs. Let's get to it. So one of the things that causes a lot of struggle and frustration for people when playing video games, especially video games like this, is they go into situations unprepared. So it's very important that before you start fighting a ladybug, you're prepared if you're having problems with them. If you go in with no armor and you're just your ant club and you can take them out, then yeah, great, you, you don't need it. But if you're struggling, just be prepared. So let's talk about being prepared. First off, you want the acorn armor. It's going to give you additional health and it's going to give you additional block damage. So when you just hold up block, you'll be able to just hold block longer. And if you take a hit, or the damage gets through because you don't perfect block, you, you do take a little bit of damage if you don't perfect block, it won't hit you as hard because you have more health. So that's going to help with your survivability. The other thing you wanna make sure you have is some smoothies for quick heal and some bandages. If you don't have the smoothie machine unlocked yet, you're trying to get ladybugs super early, then at least make sure you have some bandages. But ideally, you want smoothies. There's another trick you can do, which is eat a bunch before you go in and make sure that your food is completely completely full, that's going to give you some passive regen. So we're just going to eat a little bit here, get our food maxed out. Now I'm going to jump down here and take some damage. And you can watch, and I've showed this in one of my other tips videos, you can see there that I'm slowly regening health because my food is maxed out. It's really slow, but it's still it's going to help you. The next thing you want to do is make sure you have a good weapon. There is only one type of good weapons in this game, and that is the mallets. I mean, the hammers are okay. If you want to use a hammer, you can see that the tier two insect hammer is uh, about on par with the mallet, but just use the ant mallet. It's super easy, or the ant club. It's super easy to get early game, and then eventually you want to tier up to the mint mallet, which is going to do even more damage and make it so much easier to fight as well. So you can see the damage on the mint mallet and they all have a lot of stun. That stun is what's going to make life easier on you. So if you've done all those things and you're prepared, you have your smoothies on your hotbar, you have your bandages, you have either the, the ant club or the mint mallet. Heck, even craft, if you don't even have that, even the spike sprig is better than nothing. But use a club because you want that additional stun. Uh, the pebble hammer also has a lot of stun, which you could use super early game if you were trying to do this super, super early game. I don't advise it super early because they do have a lot of HP. So wait until you at least have the ant club is my advice, but you don't have to if you don't want to. It's your game, play it how you want. Okay, let's talk about how to actually fight the ladybugs now. Okay, so we got our ladybug. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure our health is full. If you have everything that I told you to have at the beginning of the video, you should be good to go. Just eat some food and there you go. Now our health is full. Now we have natural regen. The other thing we're going to do, we're going to make sure our insta heal smoothies are on our hot bar and we're going to consume a green machine that's going to give us enhanced regen. Now, ladybugs have two attacks. They have a charge and they have a normal just bite attack like all of the other bugs have just a normal bite attack, but they also have a special attack, which is their charge, their bulldoze, and it'll one-shot you. So you don't want to get hit by that. So we're going to hit it, and then we're going to turn to the side, and we're going to hold our block. See, it's just doing its regular attack right now. There we go. We got it stunned, and they're pretty easy to fight. You just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And if you're worried about getting hit, just hold your block. There you go. And that, that, that's how easy they are. They're so easy to take down. I mean, look at that. That was, that was nothing. All we did was just use the ant club and we brought it down and make sure that we dodge its attacks. Now, if you try to keep your distance from it, there's a chance it will bulldoze you. But if you stay super close to it and you fight it, it should just use its basic attacks. Let's try another one. Okay, here we go. We're going to grab our club. We're going to run up to it. I'm going to see if I can get it to bulldoze. Now that was its normal attack. Nope, just doing a normal attack. There's what happens if you get hit, but if you block it, and they're pretty easy to block, you can see it's super easy to bring down. He's stunned. We can get a nice heavy hit on him. And we can dodge him really easy. Just wait till, don't move until he starts to rear back to do his attack. Um, well, I failed at it there, but I'll show you here. I really wanted to do his bulldoze. 
but he's not gonna do it. So we're gonna heal real quick, just in case. There it is. There was his bulldoze. So if you stay close to him and you just keep walking to one side or the other, you won't have any problems. I was having issues there because I was like trying to demonstrate stuff. So you just focus and stay to one side or the other. It's super easy to do. You can even do it without any armor and I'll show you that too. Okay, here we go. I just have my club. We're just gonna run up. We're gonna hit it. The other important thing is to be careful where you're fighting it. Make sure you have space to move around when you need to. It's gonna charge. There we go. Block it. Okay, we got a stun on it. I did not drink a green machine either. There you go. And that's how you bring down ladybugs. Super easy. You just got to watch out for that bulldoze attack. Like I said, if you stay close to them, they shouldn't do the bulldoze attack. They should just do normal bites. And then you can just block or just keep running to one side or the other like you can with pretty much every other bug okay so hopefully you found this helpful and informational if you did consider hitting that subscribe button so that you can be notified and the bell so that you can be notified when i put out more informational grounded content and if you like the video consider hitting that like button it helps out the channel okay that is going to wrap it up for this episode if you like what you saw consider hitting that sub button i want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible you all are absolutely amazing people if you would like to join my elite crew patreon supporters please check out the link in the description below if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.